Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Here on the bench, I've got a three-jawed chuck for my South Bend lathe. Now this is the one that came with the lathe. It only came with one set of jaws. And these, unfortunately, are the jaws for gripping large stock, flat discs inside the edges here. The chuck works if you want to run something through the bore, but it only grips with just the end of it and it's not very stable. And you also have a hard time facing anything off because you can't get it down flush to the chuck jaws. All these whirling pieces out here kind of clip into your cutter and makes a mess. But I want to make a stand to put the chucks on. Before I do that, I want to clean this chuck. Now the chuck came with an adapter. So I'm going to need a wrench to fit these bolts. Seeing how somebody put different sized nuts on these bolts, I'm more than likely going to have a problem. Well, that one came loose easy enough. There's an Allen head on this end. Am I going to have a key to fit that? Perhaps not in this set, but I might have in another set. Ah, look at that. There we go. The proper key. All right, I'll take this lock nut loose. We'll see what that lock nut does. Set those parts over there. I think I'm gonna put them in this plastic box just so I've got something to keep the parts organized and don't knock anything off the bench. Now I might find out who made this chuck. Huh? That one just goes right straight on through. All oh, the rest of them thread in. This one has a thread in there. This one has a through hole. So somebody monkeyed with this. There's the adapter plate. That's good. Now this inner plate here should just come out, but the operative word is should. Since the scroll rides against it, sometimes you have to remove a little set screw, there it is, and pull out that little screw and then you can remove well, I'm able to turn the scroll easy enough but I'm not able to pull that little pin out that's just a little set screw. I wonder if there's another set screw down inside there. Well, nothing that that screwdriver reaches. something down in there.
going to get a little messy here, so put on an apron. There's a pin down in there, but it looks like it's been driven in. And if it's been driven in, the only way to get it out is to drive it out. And there's no way to drive it out from here. That looks like a separation in there. Look at that, it does come apart. And there's the pin. It's supposed to just slip out. Well, this scroll is extremely dirty. And so is the chuck. The way this works, you put the key in there, turn that, that turns the scroll, the scroll engages the chuck jaw, and as the chuck jaw advances around the scroll, moves out. But when this is gummy, and that's gummy, and that's gummy, nothing wants to move easily. Now I could take the brake cleaner and go through this chuck and clean it all up, but this is really a job for taking it somewhere where I can get some kerosene and go after it and clean it properly without making a huge mess. So I'll come back to this one tomorrow. So I'll come back to this job tomorrow. We'll see if we can't get this chuck cleaned up and put back together again. Probably never going to find a pair of jaws to fit it. But I might actually find out who made the thing. There may be a stamping somewhere on the inside of this that tells me who made it. If I know who made it, I got a better shot at finding another set of chuck jaws. But usually these are made to fit. If you have any suggestions for new quick if you have any suggestions for new video questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel just drop a note in the comments below this is part one it's probably going to be a part three before we're all done
Thanks for watching.